Welcome to Math Around the House, Help for Parents. Let's get started. Use four plastic bottles from around the house and fill them with water to teach measurement. Have kids line up the bottles according to their measured height. Next, weigh each bottle. If you have bottles that are the same height but different weight, introduce the concept of volume. Although they may be the same height, their shape may be different and they may hold more or less of a liquid. Use four identical bags in size and shape. Fill one with a cup of water. Fill the remaining three with items found around the house as shown in this example. Then weigh each bag. The bag filled with water will be the heaviest because of density. Create a balance scale with a bottle of water and a ruler. Then have kids experiment with different objects from around the house to keep the ruler and objects from falling. Once kids can balance items, see if they can extend their amounts. For example, if four small bears equal the weight of one big bear, then eight small bears will equal the weight of two big bears. Let's do another one. If ten pennies equals the same weight as two magnets, then 20 pennies will equal the weight of four magnets. Now let's look at our next activity, equivalent numbers, different ways to make the same number. Zero plus five equals five, three plus two equals five, one plus four equals five. Also, just a reminder, that making mistakes is okay. That's how we learn. And that's shown in the third example. 4 plus 6 equals 10 and 2 plus 8 equals 10. There was a mistake made. Simply have kids count the circles again and make the needed corrections. A fun way to introduce fractions is using the part to part to whole activity. In this example, part one fourth plus part three fourths equals one whole four fourths. Kids can color the parts or cut and paste construction paper to fit the parts. Be creative. Continue the part to part to whole activity, making a pizza with eight different slices. In this example, part five eighth plus part three eighths equal one whole, eight eighths, a whole pizza. A fun way to practice shapes. Using blue tape, have kids make a pattern design of shapes. Next, have them color in the shapes with crayons, marking pens, or chalk. Then have them remove the tape and count and name the shapes. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe.